Hi, sweet Stampin' friends. Welcome to today's live. Um, I am sorry that I missed y'all last week. Um, guys, I gotta be honest with y'all. I am a little jittery today. I, I'm, I'm always a little nervous when I get on to do these lives, but uh, today I'm extra nervous. Um, I don't know if it has to do with the events that have unfolded in the past week or or what, but um, so just please give me some patience, bear with me. I may make mistakes and uh, we'll just roll with them as they go. Uh, I do have to tell you though, this pat the things that have happened this past week just have reminded me how quickly your life can be turned upside down. Um, as we know, you know, the events that uh, unfolded in Uvalde earlier this week, um, you know, those, that community, they got up, did their morning, you know, regular routine and had no clue what was going to, you know, how the the tragic, uh, how tragic that day was going to end. Um, as some of y'all know, my husband was in the hospital this past week. Uh, he went in Friday into ER with some severe stomach pains. Turned out there was a problem with one of his arteries. Uh, we didn't realize at the time how life threatening the condition was, but uh, it was very scary there for a while. But he is back home. He's doing well um, and he has taken it easy. So uh, anyway, it just it just reminds me that uh I do worry a little bit, you know, about what the future may hold for him and, and his health, but um, I can't let that worry. You know, I can't live in that worry and I just have to really appreciate the moment of today. So that's just kind of just a little reminder to, to myself and hopefully to you. You know, I know a lot of times we worry about things that we really have no control over. So we need to just enjoy the gift of today. So to, today I did want to share with you the project that I had hoped to share with you last week. Oh, I see some of you are hopping on. Sorry, I wasn't on the right right screen. Um, I did want to share with you the project I uh, wanted to do last week, and that is with the treat holder using the Cheerful Basket Bundle. I also, too, have another project using uh, making a little Kit Kat holder. I found some really cool, yummy blueberry Kit Kats at Walmart recently. So I'm going to share two projects with you today. And... Um, I have a lot, a lot of information to share with you. So I hope you'll kind of stick with me to the end because I do have a really fun uh, promotion, but also too, I have a donation opportunity that I am uh, doing with the, through the ordering promotion as well. So hang tight. We're going to cover a lot of material today. Um, to get started, let me go ahead. I'm going to remove this banner, get that out of the way so we can see everything better. Go back to comments. All right, so the focus for my June Sweet Creations Club is using the Cheerful Basket Bundle and a really fun die set and stamp set. It's kind of a large die set, really fun dies to work with in there. And uh, it is making four cards and a cute little, uh, little gift basket here. So here are some of the cards if you haven't seen them already. And uh, you can either subscribe to my monthly Sweet Creations Club or you can sign up for just a single month to try it out if you like. There's a little fun fold card for you. And uh, just try it out. See what you think. It's $39. That does include the shipping and like about $20 in Stampin' Up! product. All right. Let's see. Where am I at? Like I said, I'm a little like all over the place today. So these are the two projects that we're going to make today using the Cheerful Basket Bundle. Um, if you were, if you're on my email list, uh, you probably got this project sheet last week. I didn't have the video, but I did send you the project sheet. So if you wanted to make it, you had it. I also too, I'm going to resend this in tomorrow's email along with the new project for the blueberry Kit Kat holder. So you can have both of those in tomorrow's email. All right. So let's go ahead and let's get started. Now, the first thing I have is we're going to use the Peekaboo Treat Bags. This is one of the new products in the annual catalog and just really fun. They come, uh, there's like five of the craft and there's five of the white ones. And so we're going to take, let me kind of move some stuff out of the way here. We're going to take the craft bag and we're going to take some in color designer series paper. Now I have two pieces here. We have the first piece, which measures two by three and seven eighths. And then we have one that measures one and one eighth by three and seven eighths. All right, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna glue the larger piece on the top and the smaller one on the bottom. And then we're gonna do some fun decorating with it. I had, uh, when I was designing the Sweet Creations Club projects, I was like, you know, I didn't do a project with the 
apples falling out of a basket. So I was like, well, we got to do that. And that's just, that's just too cute. So I thought this little treat bag would be a perfect thing to do that with. All right. So I am going to let this kind of glue really well before I put the candies in, because it does kind of put some pressure on that designer series paper and it can kind of pop up a little bit. So I'm just going to hang tight with that. And I'm going to work on the other pieces. Now, guys, I did do some uh, pre-prepping on some things here just to kind of make the day go, this uh, today's live go a little bit uh, faster. Let's see if I can grab all these pieces in here. There's several of them. Let's see, that goes to that one. There's that. And this. Okay, so... From the die set, there were some things that I went ahead and I die cut out, and that is the solid basket, the little outline basket. Also, too, there's like the little bands for to go across the basket. I am not going to use all of these. I'm just going to use, ooh, are those the same size they may be? I'm just going to use the top and the bottom. Let's see. Make sure that's correct. And then, oh gosh, this is so tiny. There is, hopefully you can see that, there is a little handle. So I did cut that out in the silver foil. So we have that. And then I cut out two apples and two little stems. Now these little stem, little apple stems are so tiny that I went ahead and I glued them ahead of time so they had a little bit of time to dry. And then we're going to do just a little bit of stamping. But as you can see, I have already colored and die cut them out. So I'm using the apple from the stamp set with some black memento ink. And the reason I like to use the black memento is when you're working with blends, it keeps your colors on your blends from like smearing and kind of smudging. All right, so we have that. And then I just wanted to have a really fun sentiment that I thought coordinated with the apple theme and the bunch, right? So I found this in my, cele what is it called? Uh, Celebrate Sunflower stamp set. I found this stamp that said, thanks a bunch. So go scrolling through what you have in your stash and see if you don't have something fun that you can use for this. So we're gonna stamp that. And then what I did is I just cut around that, manually used my scissors, cut out the sentiment. And then I used, for my colors, I used the parakeet, I'm sorry, not parakeet, the sweet sorbet blends, and then the parakeet party blends to color in those apples. Now, I will share with you when I do the blueberry project, I will actually color that one in. But rather than doing coloring for both, I thought I would just kind of show you how I got to that point. So stamp and then color. All right, I think my basket is probably, not my basket, my bag is probably okay to start inserting the treats. Now, the inside of this bag, it is lined, so it's food safe to use. And yes, my hands were clean. I just washed them right before I got on. Uh, let's see if we can get some of those in here. Now, I found on Amazon some green apple sour little balls here. So we're going to use that and put that inside. Oh, I may have too many here. There we go. It doesn't fit a whole lot of those balls in there. All right. So we have that for our bag. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to start assembling my basket. Now I'm going to just glue this outlined basket to the solid one. And then I'm going to take the, the long band and the short band, and I'm going to glue them to the top and the bottom. All right, let's get that there. All right, so now I'm going to kind of get some glue off my hands before I touch this handle. I'm going to add just a little bit of glue, dabs of glue, onto the handle. This is always the tricky part because it's so thin. All right. And it, on here, I don't know if it'll show up in the video, right here and right here, there's kind of like a little notch. Yeah, I don't think it's focusing very well. But that's where I put the ends of the handle. And when you get it in there, you can just kind of see it sits exactly where you would think a handle would sit. Right there on those little notches. 
All right, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our dimensionals and we're going to adhere the basket, but we want the basket kind of at an angle like it's dumping out the apples. I'm going to put this at an angle. And then what I'm going to do, a little trick here, the, uh, these little stems on these apples are so teeny tiny. Look, there's hardly anything holding on there. So what I like to do is I like to take a dimensional and I like to cover over the stem and that will help provide some stability to that stem on the back of your apple. And then we're going to glue them just kind of randomly like they were falling out of the basket. Same thing for this apple, cover that stem and have this little one going that way. And then what I'm going to do a little trick here, because if you notice, there's a curvature to my bag. So I'm going to take my bone folder and I'm just going to kind of curve my apples a little bit. That way, when I glue, when I adhere them on, they'll kind of sit better. So add some dimensionals here, pop that up. Okay, so I'm just going to put that right here on the side. And then the last, what I want to do is I'm going to add my sentiment right here along the bottom. Again, kind of curve it a little bit. I'm going to hold that. All right, and then the last thing is I bought some fabric at the fabric store that is red gingham print. So I'm going to just, I, oh goodness, what did I cut this to? I think it's two and three quarter, two and three quarter by two and three quarter. So if you're looking to do that, it is, it's two and three quarter square. Then I just found some clips at Amazon. So I'm gonna clip that on. And then the last thing I'm gonna do is adhere it on with a glue dot. Gonna roll that up and I'm gonna add my linen bow. Now I did a double linen bow here just to kind of give it a little bit of an embellishment. And there we go guys, that is project number one. That is the project I intended to share with you last week. So I'm gonna share with you the blueberry one and this, a lot of the similar concepts that I did for the bag, the treat bag, but we're gonna do it with the Blueberry Kit Kat. Now, the Blueberry Kit Kat, I did find these at Walmart. Now, if you want to find them, they're a little bit tricky because they're not what you think. They're not like in a bag. They were in a, like a really long sleeve of I think about 12 of these little snack size. So I almost missed them the first time, but I did find them at Walmart. I think they are kind of a limited edition flavor. And so let's go ahead. We're going to grab our supplies for that one. And so what we're going to do, let me grab my instructions so I give you the right measurements. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to start off with a piece of the Orchid Oasis um, cardstock. And this piece measures two and a half by four inches. Okay. Then on the long side right here, we have... We're going to score at one and three quarter and two and one quarter. Then on the short side, we're going to score at half an inch and again at two inches. OK, so let's go ahead. We're going to burnish our score lines. I see some of you are hopping on and joining me. Thank you so much. I appreciate you hanging out to craft with me today. I missed y'all last week, but I am really glad to be back with y'all. Okay, and if you do stop back and watch the replay, just say hello. Let me know that you stopped by. All right, so right here we have our little score line. So what we're going to do is we're going to cut right here on the sides to make some tabs. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to kind of do a little notch right here on each tab. I'm going to rotate it around, and I'm going to do the same thing for the other side. Just do cut up to those score lines to make tabs. All right. Now we're going to glue. I'm going to glue these tabs and assemble my box. Do the other tab. 
And we really don't see a whole lot of this when we finish our box. Ah, just got glue all over me. Okay, let's try that again. Oh, I know what I'm doing wrong. I'm doing the wrong tab. Let's try the, new, the correct tab. Okay, all right. So I have glued my sides together. I glued those little tabs. It is not cooperating with me. Let's hold that for a second. Does not help I have glue all over my hands right now. All right, so now I'm gonna glue my sides together. Finish the box. All right, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna let that sit for a minute because I have glue everywhere right now. Ugh. And I didn't bring my, I usually have like a little wet towel next to me and I did not get that set up today. I totally forgot about it. All right, so remember how we had the two so uh, had the solids on the other um, on the other project? We're going to do the same thing. We're going to have two die cut solid baskets and then two outline baskets. That's going to form the front and the back of our basket. Now I have, however, I am going to only do for the front of my basket. I'm going to do. I'm going to put the bands only on the front one. I don't really need them for the back. All right, we also, too, we've got a cute little liner to put on our basket. That's in the parakeet party. This I have die cut, but I'm going to show you how I colored it. So if you are not familiar with using our blends, give you a little bit of taste on how to use them because they make such beautiful shaded images. Okay, so we're going to do the same thing we did on the first project. We're going to take our outline baskets. And we're going to glue them to the solid basket. All right, so then that's going to go there. So that's the front and the back. Then what I'm going to do is going to take just the top. Now, when you die cut these out, it actually cuts out three different bands. It cuts out a, a long one, a medium one, and a short one. I am not using the medium one. You're welcome to if you want to. But I am just going to use the top and the bottom. Oh, goodness, we got people from all over the United States here. And it looks like, oh, my goodness, Mary, I am so jealous. You are in Hawaii right now. Oh, oh shoot, we don't want to do that one. We want to put it on this one. Pay attention, Deborah. Okay. All right, so now what I want to do is let me go ahead and stamp our image. Again, we're using the apples. But you know what? Our apples are going to become blueberries. I think we can take a little creative license here, right? Stamp that in the black memento. Now this time I am using the starry sky blends, the light and the dark one. So what I personally like to do, this is just my preference. I like to, well, and the parakeet party, sorry. I like to start with my leaves. And so I'm just going to put the dark parakeet party kind of towards the base. When you're coloring with blends, you want to kind of imagine where your image would have shadowing. And so that's where you're going to put your darker, your darker uh, color. And then I'm going to come back and I'm going to kind of tie in the light color, pull in some of my dark color. Now on the leaves, you're not going to see a whole lot of contrast, particularly in this video. There's a little bit in person, but not a whole lot. Okay, so here's where we're going to get more of that blueberry look. So I'm going to take the starry sky on the dark. And all these places where there are these little lines, I kind of use that personally as my guide to start. And then I kind of take a look at where else I think there might be some shadowing. So I would probably think there'd be some shadowing here in these little crevices. So I'm going to add a little bit there. And that's all I do. I just kind of do little dots here and there. And then I come back with my light blends and then we're gonna fill in all of those spaces. Now, I'm not gonna worry about blending just yet. I just wanna get my color down. It's gonna be my line to remind me how far to go. And then we're gonna color. Just fill all that in. I have to tell you, um, 
last this past week going back and forth to see my husband um i did start it got you know it was kind of hard to get work done at home so uh luckily my mom had helped me earlier this week cut uh, die cut pieces for the june uh sweet creations club so i just took that up to the hospital with me so that i could work on it and uh I have to say it was really nice that I have a job that I can just kind of take with me wherever I am and still be able to be with my husband when he was in the hospital. Okay. All right. So we got all of this in. Okay. So now what I want to do is I want to kind of pull in and highlight some of those darker places. So I'm going to go back um, and color over where I had the dark ones to kind of blend them in a little bit. And that will give us more of a blueberry look. And then, of course, as it dries, you'll, it will kind of blend in a little bit more. So I have already die cut this piece out for us. And so what I want to do is I'm going to add a little bit of adhesive right here at the top. So we can glue this on before we put it on our, on our treat, treat box. Okay, so let's get that lined up. Like we got blueberries in the basket. All right, so now we're going to start assembling. So I'm going to put glue on the front. And we're going to put this with the basket. Now here I'm going to line it up and just kind of push my uh, put, push the box down so that it's nice and flush with my table. And then I'm going to add glue to the back. And we're going to repeat, do the same thing, lining it up and then just kind of pushing it down. So as you see, it's kind of flush right there on the back. Let's go back to the front. Let's finish this up. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take dimensionals here and we're going to add our liner with dimensionals. So it kind of looks like it's draping over the basket. Put that here at the top. And then I'm going to use a glue dot. Oh, this may not be good. <laughs> Somehow in the process, I lost my bow. Ooh. All right. Is it hiding somewhere? Hmm. Well, I had almost everything. You know what? Let me grab my linen thread real quick. Oh, no, nope, here it is. Found it, found it, found it. Yay, found it. It was high. It had popped out of the basket. Okay, so let's grab a glue dot. And same thing, we're just going to add a little linen bow, double bow here, finish this up. And then we're going to pop in our little Kit Kat. There we go, guys. That is the projects for today. As I said, I do have the tutorials coming in tomorrow's email. So make sure that you are on my email list. If you're not, you can sign up. The link for that is in this post. I do want to share with you real quick the things I have coming up and I want to share with you the ordering promotion I have coming uh, that I have going on right now. So I had originally last week was doing the ordering promotion to get for a $35 order. I will mail you two packets, one to make the treat box in the craft and in the white uh, little treat bags here. Uh, you will need to provide your own stamps, you know, inks and adhesives, and I won't be able to send the candy to you. That's just not possible. Uh, also, too, but I thought it would be fun to go on ahead and add in the uh, pre-cut supplies also for the blueberry treat holder as well. And believe me, you do not want me to send you Kit Kat in the mail because with our Texas heat, it would literally be like milk chocolate by the time I got to you. So I'm not going to do that. Um, I did have like in my email last week, I had it, but it only showed the two of the treat bags. But like I said, I'm going to go ahead and add in that blueberry Kit Kat pre-cut supplies for you. Also too, you will get the June Sweet Stampin' Friends PDF tutorial. This is kind of an example of what we did in May, but in June, we've got some really fun, eight more fun projects for you. So I'll either email it to you in June when you place an order of $35 or more. Make sure you use that host code that's in the post. If uh, your order is $150 or more, do not use that host code, okay? Because I want you to get the Stampin' Rewards as well to get some free products. Now, I was telling you, one of the things I, um, I want to be able to do something for Uvalde and help them out, but I'm always really nervous to, um, you know, what, you know, like what places to select, 
let me go ahead. I want to talk to you in person. I feel like I'm just <laughs> talking to, to nobody. Um, anytime, you know, you have these like tragic events happen, there's always the scammers that come out and, and I get really nervous in who to donate money to. So uh, I have chosen to go uh, to use HEB. They have a spirit of giving program. And so uh, 20% of whatever amount of order you place with me uh, will go. I, I will donate 20% of that order of the profit to be able to uh, hopefully help them out a little bit. Um, I would like to do something and hopefully together we can help them out some. Um, I also too, I do have some events coming up. So I want to share those with you. I know we're flipping back and forth. I told you today was going to be crazy. <laughs> All right. So I told you about the promotion. Uh, I'm doing the donation. Also too, if you want to be able to make more of the cheer some cheerful basket projects, I do have my Sweet Creations Club. There are two ways you can sign up. You can either subscribe monthly to my Sweet Creations Club, or if you just want to try it out for one month, I do have a one month uh, option for you for $39. You can uh, try it out. It, it does include the pre-cut project supplies, $20 in product. It also too, it is going to include the liner and some candy, a little bit of the sour apple ball or the sour apple balls and the PDF tutorial and shipping as well. The registration does close on June 5th. And I do have also two, my paper and ribbon share is closing tomorrow and I only have one spot left on that. So if you want to try out the new papers and ribbons in the annual catalog, I do have two uh, pricing options there for you. And uh, also too, I have June stamp and Bunko. That registration is open. It's going to close pretty quick though uh, at the end uh, on June 1st. Uh, and it is $30. It does include, we do make some projects. It includes a little embellishment and the Bunko games. Also too, I have a really kind of fun candy surprise for you in that. Uh, our starter kit promotion. Don't forget guys, we only have a couple of days left. I think Tuesday is when this ends. This has the in color. You get like 66.50 in in color products in your starter kit. And for $99, you'll also too, you'll get $125 of product that you select as well as all these fun goodies. Uh, you'll get free shipping on your kit. You'll get a free paper pumpkin. You also too, you'll be able to save, uh, get a discount on your purchases, on your product purchases. Um, I did forget to tell you that that ordering promotion does, uh, does end on May 31st. I did extend it because of the events uh, of, with my husband being in the hospital. Uh, I did extend it till the end of the month. Also to the uh, donation also to um, that will run through May 31st. And lastly, guys, I know several of you have already gotten the your cup of tea mystery box. Now, next Friday, I'm going to do the reveal and share with you what was inside the box. If you did not register for the box and you would like to, I do have two extra kits that are available now. And then I have two that I'm going to keep for a while. But if you would like to go ahead and get this mystery box, message me. I think I have the link uh, or uh, the pricing on that in the post below. So, guys, let me go ahead, switch over, say goodbye to you. Thank you so much. Thank you for, like, dealing with kind of my craziness and my brain all over the place today. I do hope you enjoyed the projects, though. And uh, thank you. I see so many of y'all hopped on and joined me. And as you hop on later and watch the replay, thank you so much for hanging out and crafting with me. I hope that y'all have a really blessed weekend and we will see you next Friday. Take care. Bye, guys.